and I guess we are live. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to be playing the Star Citizen again. And there was a lot of questions last episode and last stream about how to make money. And so I decided that I'm going to bring my caterpillar and I'm going to show you a couple of tricks and tips how you want to make money with your, uh, with your ship. Uh, depends on what kind of ship you have, how many SC you can fit in. And uh, also I want to show you like, yeah, the couple of ways how you can pretty much safely do some money. Uh, so just before we're going to start, let me finish a couple of things because like, you know, always need to set up the streams and YouTube and everything. And once I have it done, I'll just like get back to... And once I have it done, I'll just... And I guess we are trying to edit a video, as you can see, or here. Yo. Here we go. I know I was a little bit late today because there was a couple of things I needed to solve in the past. It's already 8.40 p.m. today. It's not going to be a long stream as always is. Uh, because like, you know, during the week I'm going to work and stuff and have other things and responsibilities I need to take care of. Uh, now, what are we going to be doing? Hoorah! Okay. Well, where was I? Okay, just let me guess. I'm still in the game. My caterpillar is still here, which is okay. Oh my gosh. I think I think we are good. I think we are all set up, and I think we can get back to the game. So, just give me a sec. I'm just kind of eating. Okay. So I do have my caterpillar here. I'm right now in the Daymar. I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm at. I have about a million now. So this is a Daymar, and we are. Ready much one side mining our corp mining area 141 and this is where you wanna be because this is where it's all happening I need to make sure okay that's where we are so and we're gonna be traveling just between Daymar and Port Olizar uh, we can expect with this amount of money and this shape that we're gonna be making quite a lot of money so now I have one million and eight thousand and I'm gonna take a couple of times I'm just gonna fill it in still empty I think I will just fit like uh, 300 300 SU or something like that we'll see. Okay, let's put it in. Bring it on. I guess the 127. So, we have like 360 SU. As you can see, there's plenty to go. It's like a three round. Three times all in. Still not. Still not done. Uh, and as you can see, I'm, I'm probably not gonna buy that. I'm just like gonna take a look how many more SU I can put in. But I don't wanna use all my money in that one round. Okay, 53 SU. So I'm gonna put like 40, 40. Okay, so I have like 30, 30,000 or 30 grand, just in case something went wrong. So I just 
won't be that catastrophic and I will be able to get back quickly or quicker. You know, anything can happen at a time. We always know that. So this is my catapult. Right now it's supposed to be full of... It's a big button, isn't it? Or elevator. It should be just that, like this thing in the middle. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We basically now need to get all into the portal is ours, sell the sell the stuff and I think we are good to go. Okay, all the power should be on. Engines online. Launch complete. Starboard impact. Impact warning. Okay, I'm gonna like put it 20. Landing gear up. 25 degrees. Let's see. Looks like there's no one. Oh, there's a ship. Freelancer. Okay, it's gonna take him some time in order just to sell and buy stuff. I think before he will land and do all that stuff, we'll be probably long gone. And I'm just gonna do everything in my power to do that. We need to get 30,000 kilometers, oh, sorry, 30,000, 30Ks out of the atmosphere. Oh yeah, just 2Ks. And we're slowly getting there, 3,000 meters. I was just thinking about it, this this game can be very confusing for the American people because you have everything in the miles. Feeds and all that stuff. And right now everything here is in a, in a meter, it's a metric system. There we go. Oh, come on. Nine kilometers. I think that guy will be already on his way up. It depends how much we are going to fit in. He need to do five. It depends if he is full or not. Oh, let's see. All right, I forgot to do one thing, an important one. I right, come on. You cannot see the chat, so I'm just going to fix it right now as we go. Let me quickly fix my mobile phone. It's gonna be brightness one minute to never. There we go. Alright, so I, I do have my stream chat in front of me just in case that someone gonna be texting on a Twitch. I can see everything. Mm. Here we go. Okay. We're 20, 27 k 28, 29, okay, we'll be out of the atmosphere soon. And dawn, no way. Seriously, if this is portal is I'm the most important stuff. Okay. Too far now is Here we go. It's a Kovalex though. The Kovalex is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool thing. It's something like an next Olizar. Unfortunately, it doesn't work because it's completely destroyed. Quantum drive is now on. Thirty-three. Rio. Okay, before I'm gonna land on Port Olizar, I wanna mention that we do have a giveaway, and it's not many, many days left. So if you really want to get into the game, we do have a giveaway of Aurora game package, which means that you're just not going to get on the ship, but you also get access to the game. Uh, in order to get the access to the game, the only simple step you need to follow is to follow the channel. Basically, you just follow on our Twitch or subscribe on YouTube, and you're going to be using the code 
which is down below in the description. On YouTube, you should see that straight away once you scroll all the way down. There is that code. It's like a four digits, four digits, four digits divided by a dash. And while creating your account, you're gonna get extra five thousand AUEC in a game AUEC later on. Is now off. And you also get a chance to participate in an event. Later on, you can get your hands uh, on Aurora, and I'm gonna be choosing the winner at the end of the month, which is 28th of February, and it's kind of accounts for the next week. So be on a stream. If you're not going to be on a stream, I'm going to be contacting you uh, probably in game if you are the lucky one or lucky person who won. Now uh, we are close to the portal, and I just need to get my hands back on the throttle and kind of find a way how to land. You well. Oh, they're a little bit kicked. There are a lot of ships, I think. I'll just go on. Okay. Please proceed to assign landing bay. There is a bug in a portal lizard that if you're gonna be using the auto land with this ship, you just won't be able to. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah. today I was actually looking at the known bugs about this ship. So all the bugs I already noticed and I was talking about earlier, they are actually already uh, registered and they are, um, the CIG already know about them. So nothing drastic and obviously everything gonna be fixed. Everything is acknowledged and we shouldn't be worried that much. Impact warning. Another thing I wanted to talk about Landing complete. is Landing complete. Engines is a drug lab. I don't know if any one of you mentioned or, or find out there is... No, wait a second why this is open. Somebody need to close that. I don't have open things on my ship. So, I don't know if you notice on a website, RSI websites, you can find out that there is a hint. There's a conversation, I think it has been released yesterday or today, not quite sure. And it, uh, it's a conversation between two guys talking about drug clubs or the video runs. And uh, if you can notice, they're talking about more than one lap. So, if everybody knows that there is a lab on Ayala, which is the Jump Town secret lab where you can buy the video and sell it with a really great profit, there are more of these entities. So, I heard from the people, or from I had the rumors, that you can find some drug lab on Aberdeen. I do not know where it is that. i never been there. I'm not quite sure if it's on Aberdeen at all, but something might be on another side of the system might be cool if everywhere like a hurston aberdeen and um, you know crusader and every single place have its own drug club and it would kind of make sense because you can sell video in the lower well i'm actually once i'm gonna do this sale and gonna show you how much money you can make uh, then I'm gonna take my caterpillar and I'm gonna fly over. So I'm gonna sell all the aggressive and here we go. There she goes. 1,054,000. And as you can see, I obviously started at 1 million, so this is the 55, 54 grand profit. And before um, I actually started with the stream, I had like 9, I made about like 100,000 credits right now uh, okay let's get back to my caterpillar because I don't want to fly for a long time and we're going to be we are gonna take our way to the Everdeen and we're gonna be trying to take a look or we're gonna be looking for the new drug drug lab I don't know if anyone ever attempted to find or take a look of it. There's supposed to be another one. Um, someone said sailing, but not quite sure. But first of all, nevertheless, if there is like some drug lab. It's probably going to be around Hurston. 
I wish it's on a Daymar because I love Daymar, honestly. I really love that place. That is so cool. Just like a desert, you know, there is a blue sky already. And it's just so cinematic and the chorus representation. Wow. Kind of very natural, but the Aberdeen I don't like that place that much. So if I'm not mistaken, we have Hearthstone and Ariel. Are we going to Aberdeen? You know, if things go wrong, the things go wrong. The only thing we need is fuel. Actually, oh, we don't need the fuel, we do have plenty. So I'm gonna power Weapons offline. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Your systems are online. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna refill that just in case. It's better to have that, you know. But it's slow. That's slow. I think my fuel intake will take it faster. than it is Aberdeen. Let's take a look, shall we? At least we're gonna find out how is Caterpillar about Thank you for letting me know that I should actually turn on. Quantum drive is now on. Here we go, thirty one million kilometers. Take a look. Get the burn on his. 
Yeah, I just wish the caterpillar will be working better. We'll be able to walk. Like that locking problem is a big problem. Yeah, I cannot effectively it's running the cargo. The only problem is, not many people know that the caterpillar have these bugs. <clears throat> and a couple of information I would like to mention from reverse the verse or follow the verse or whatever. They honestly try to make a caterpillar look the claustrophobic. They really wanted to make this dark kind of lighting gray colors, you know, everything is naked and kind of like industrial. They want to give you that feeling like claustrophobic, not finished, and like, uh, you know, glitchy. But honestly, it looks, it looks good. I like it. I don't know if I would like to sleep properly, but obviously it's a spaceship which works, even though you have all this he got it back in here. I don't know. That is just spaceship. You know, I don't. I don't think the NASA ships looks better. It's kind of alright. It would be cool, you know, if you're gonna be meeting people in here. Like this one is okay. I can imagine just like to sleep. Oh, yeah. Just wish it's a bunk bed. But, uh -huh. I cannot tell someone, hey bro, you have a bed number two. Mm -hmm. Both bros will have a bed number two. Yeah, the, the fact is that. Oh, here we go. Yep, that's the big benefit of the manual release. Manual release, what is this for? There's like supposed to be something behind because they obviously don't know what to put in there. Hmm. Oh, that's alright. I was solid effect. Still up this Definitely taking a screenshot. All right. Your flares are online. Hey, birdie. So let's find Aberdeen. a little bit. I think, yeah, the caterpillar is sometimes a little bit tricky. That's okay. Ha! It's pretty cool looking at the planet like that. So you don't know where it's top, where it's the bottom. Uh, okay, let's get back to that. Everdeen or Mon. So you're somewhere. Okay. Not sure know where is the one, but I'm 
Where's, where's this one? Is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, okay, I feel like I need to do that again. Ah, uh, mosquito. I don't know why, but just like, yeah, the quantum drive gets crazy sometimes, and it's just in the caterpillar, and it's always when I'm just like end up in her stun and or leave the pilot seat during the jump. I guess. I guess we're checking the Aberdeen though. I heard that the uh, drag lab is supposed to be on a dark side. And look how big the planet is. So I know I'm gonna be flying and scanning constantly. There's a big chance that we're not gonna find anything. Bah! You're not giving up? This is crazy. Engines offline. Weapons offline. Hello and welcome aboard your train right. planetary craft. That's how you fix your ship, bro. Oh, let's just fly around, we'll see what we get. I'm gonna fly here. It doesn't doesn't matter. Where we actually where we actually end up. I basically just need to get to the planet or the moon and start scanning. We're gonna be doing that. Hint on our cycle for more track lamps. Hydrogen fuel is at 100 percent. You see, beautiful. Yeah, I think I need to speed up this drama. I'm gonna be flying like 130, I will never get to the surface of the planet.
okay. But that's interesting. That's an interesting game loop. Like, let's say that they give a hint to the players. So the players can kind of fly out right now around the planet, moons or whatever they want. And they can try to find that drug lab, which is pretty cool because if there is another one, and we will find it, then I can kind of write down the location. And if it's life, when I will find this drug lab, all of you guys will probably know where the drug lab is, and you will be able to visit it. So maybe we are on the verge of something new. Yep, the plan is actually pretty big. It's gonna take me a lot of time. But if you do the scanning, you can see quite like, you know, 20 case in front of you or something. So if I will be scanning right now, and there will be something 20 case away from me, my. Yeah, okay, that's like a. My radar is supposed to find it, and I'm supposed to get some kind of signal, but I'm not getting any signatures, which is frustrating. Look how thick the atmosphere is. It's just like in a giant ball. Though it's not kind of it's not high, you know. The atmosphere here is like maybe two case or something. I don't know. Been here once. Interesting one though. Okay, 10 case. That's not that bad. Oh, yes. All right, USS Exploration Ship 1001. We are about to explore. Planet or moon called Aberdeen. Okay, so far. Nothing special. I think there's not a rest ship for exploration because the do not have the best vision though. Well, but the weather sucks. I think I should definitely take something faster and more agile. <laughs> Another mosquito. Okay, I want to keep this ship steady. I just scan something. It's like the, this one in here. Are we just flying? We just continue. Okay, 
Okay, kind of going to the dark side of the planet. Should take at least the dragonfly with me. Big mistake, Lucas. Big mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching another citizen and we are working on exploration. We're trying to find a drug lab based on the rumors. We know that there is a drug lab somewhere here on Everdeen. We don't have much more information, but we are going to the dark side of this moon. Scanning and hoping that we're gonna find any signatures which might help us in the long run. The weather is very hostile. I can't see more than meters away from the front and tip of the ship. Darker it is, worse my vision is. My plan is just to fly around. Oh, oh, oh. This looks interesting. Let's fly this way. I like this crater. Definitely the place I don't want to stay for a long time. No signatures, nothing. This looks like the planet is also Atlantic. Okay. Just need to keep scanning. Doesn't necessarily have to be in front of us, and we necess doesn't necessarily have to find it straight away. Ah, <sighs> just keep going. That's it. Persistence. Dark and hostile and cold. I don't even know what the temperature is, and they haven't showed it to us yet. But looks extremely hostile. I think I should take a different ship. I should take definitely take Aquila. Okay. Oh, we can explore pretty. 
comfortably. Altitude is like 2Ks. Still nothing. Kills me here. Okay, let's land here. Landing. Let me know. Front impact warning. Front impact warning. Rear impact warning. Landing complete. Okay, we are landed. Wow. What is that ball in there? Looks like a hostel, isn't it? Okay, we are in the middle of nowhere. I hope I'm not gonna have some alien on my ship. Okay, nothing nice. Just give me a little break. We'll be right back. You know, actually, something telling me that it's not safe out here. Okay, let me wait here.
Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back, and this was. Please accept my extreme apology, but I was extremely full. That's what's happening to people who eating a lot of food. So I'm back. I'm back in our exploration mission. Okay, I don't feel much safe. Like honestly, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Ooh, it's gonna be a lot of fun once they're gonna add the animals in game. Imagine that there's something in living. Like this one, right. It's still fine. How come that the laser can be so so bad? Like that, go. Look at it. That's how you That's pretty cool. We have a lobby here. So you can put the guns here, grab it, go down, shoot people. The problem is, it's just like people can get in a ship, even if you don't want to. I feel more safe now, especially here on the bridge, because I know that the animals cannot open the ship. Okay. Engines online. Launch complete. Let's do the scanning, shall we? Current altitude. How come that I'm already like two case? Landing gear up. This is really I just wish that I can find something that will be so good. Scanning needs to be done better. Is this like so local? Everyone knows that I'm scanning. If there is there is a ship within like 10 k's away from me, they can see the signature. I can see shit. Okay.
Sure. Let's check if someone actually writing on YouTube because we always have YouTube. Uh, oh. Oh. I'm gonna be flying all over this planet as long as I'm gonna find sun or the dry cloud. One or another. Six percent of fuel, good. <sighs> Come on, I think. Yeah, the scanning is sucks in this game, yeah. So they make it complicated. How would you find? How would you find something? You really need to grow the orc. How do you know? At least I wish the Aquila works. So I can grab the people and we can come up like a scan. So broke me. Minus six. <sighs> Think the sunrise is the right way. atmosphere. Yay. Is there something? You know, funny thing is, we're kind of laughing when we're just thinking about a Captain Cook, you know, or Marco Polo, or all these guys who are kind of discovering, and they were just discovering and sailing the pole around our planet. And how many things they discovered and mapped, you know, in there. Just like, you know, you have an option to do the same thing. You can be in New Marco Polo, and the universe is even bigger, so. Well, of course, yeah, the scanning capabilities will be kind of com more controversial than Marco Polo had here, just the visuals. You just send this signal, boost it all the way, and dead.
Like honestly, once they're gonna add the functionality of data running, it's gonna be very, very funny. Because like, you know, you will just put the ship on orbit, run the scan, and then hello. It's like a local scan it sucks. I feel like looking for We're looking for a big box. Okay, so what do we need to do? We have a lot of energy and everything, so it's not a problem. Okay, still, I think. Right down. I'm just not going to crash that. I'm going to smash it. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish I get at least some signatures. It's like flying across the planet, which is completely dark, with no vision. This just sucks. Hmm. Now and then, you run the scan. Having less of fuel. Shield system online. What do you mean shield system so online? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? For some unknown reason, I just dropped the shots. It's a ghost planet. Oh. Seeing, and it's even more that I don't know where I'm. Thank you. 
seriously, it's a desert. It's nothing else. Nothing. Probably it might be good for the mining though. That's pretty much it. I kind of start to believe that having a having a truck club in here will be bullshit. Okay. Ah. Now I'm about to find something. I'm gonna be doing it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just to remind you, we're looking for the new drug club. We are on a planet called Aberdeen. It's a moon of the planet Hurston. We kind of flying around the surface for some time already and hoping for getting any signatures. <sighs> this is exploration version 1.0. Wait a second. Anything can do nothing. Nothing. Uh, absolutely nothing. I want to check at least how far. Four three. It's two hundred k's. Okay, so there is, at least we're gonna find out, so we have 200 k's away from us. If I'm going to be flying the same direction, I should be, I should be hitting very soon. It's not a big moon, so I don't understand quite why I'm flying all around without any signatures. It's not a big. Impact warning. Get impact warning. Don't warn me. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm kind of low. Yeah. Ooh. 200Ks. I'm gonna be flying all around the surface. Man, if I still open a few. I think this is exactly something for the PCs. Yeah, with the Karak at the end of the year, this job gonna be easy. Just gonna fly to the orbit, leave.
glad I'm not trying to reclaim it. Starting to think. Just a hoax. You know, funny thing is that how come that it's so dark? I think I'm going with the rotation or something. Gosh, come on, come on. Give me at least something. We are looking for a new yellow. No signatures, nothing. Be a win. One hundred and ninety three. So I'm really. Uh, at least something. find the lab. Okay, first of all, I should test, hey dude, enter. What are you up to? Doomtone, how's it going? Hey, uh, to explain, uh, what I'm trying to do right now, right here, is to find out if the message on a RSI website is hoax or true. I heard some rumors that you can have a new drug lab as a jump down on Yellow, and you have 
couple of other drug labs somewhere in the universe. And I had some rumors that you can find a drug lab on Aberdeen. And I decided that I will be the person who's gonna grab the ship and gonna fly around the surface, do the scanning and find a new drug lab and write himself in a history. Uh, but I'm not doing very well. Oh, wait a second, I get something. I get something, I get something. Yeah, it sounds awesome. But wait a second, there was something. I I definitely picked some, like a second of scan. Oh, 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 have you seen it? Here. Is that? Half. Wait, 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 wait. That's something. Oh my god. That sounds awesome. It absolutely does, bro. It absolutely does. It's very dark. Get impact warning. Where I'm getting the signatures from? Why well, not seeing anything? You, it's awesome, but you know, because the exploration is not quite in the game yet, it's kind of hard, you know, to distinguish. Or figure it out like you know if you're doing the right thing because you're just like flying around the planet and doing the scanning which is uh, I think I can get a signatures only up to like 20k or something and I'm not quite sure if I, I'm gonna get the buildings in it I don't know why but I kind of feel I should fly here HDMS Rider. What is that? The only signature I'm getting is Ita. And that's definitely not where we're heading. Hmm, I'm confused. So yeah, uh, what I'm doing in about like last half an hour, I'm just like flying all around the planet and trying to figure out what's happening. By the way, just give me a second. Sohun, thank you so much. Say thank you so much for a follow. Got 36. Thank you so much for a follow as well. 20 minutes. Ooh, this is scary. This is extremely scary. Like, you know, I haven't seen the daylight for like the last 30 minutes. And it's really dark in here. And I'm still not getting any signatures. Nothing. But it looks like the daylight is kind of in front of us. So maybe we just like flew all around. Doomtone, thank you so much for follow. Doomtone, do you have a game? I saw a couple, two of your messages in here. Do you have a Star Citizen so you can just like join the game? Let me know in the chat. Whew. So far, so good. We still have, whoa, 93%. Yeah, but I don't, haven't played in any ages. Wow. Bro. Understand. Uh, 
there has been a lot of changes right now. The servers are much more stable than you probably remember. Let's say that I already have an experience of playing on a server for uh, same server for two days and haven't crashed once. So they really fixed the stability problem with the game. You can really play more comfortably running the cargo without being that crazy scared that you're gonna lose it anytime. And uh, that's also another reason why everyone is a millionaire here. Because it's much easier right now to do some money, less bucks, more players, more fun together playing in the parties, capital ships and stuff. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm kind of worried that the Aberdeen won't be the planet or the moon. We can discover a new drug club. However, I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be following. Even though, because the exploration is something I really wanted to do in this game. I'm not saying I'm going to be doing that in a caterpillar. I think it's not suitable shape for that. Now I really understand uh, the reason why smaller ships are actually added in a game. For instance, for atmospheric flight. It might be much better to fly, for instance, in something like Aquila. And I will probably have all these planets scanned already. Because we're flying about 99, not even a full speed. Ship is big, ship is heavy, we're lifting a lot of weight. Uh, the link is actually... I'm, I can send you the link. If you give me one second, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna land this bad boy over here. And I'm gonna send you and paste you the link in the chat. But you can find that link on the web pages of the Robert Space Industries. It's one of the official posts. Gear down. So that's why I was like, I find it a bit more trustworthy because I heard about the rumors for a long time. Impact warning. Starboard okay. impact warning. Deck impact warning. Port impact warning. Oh. Front impact warning. All right, let's land this. Starboard big impact warning. Landing complete. All right, what a view. Okay, let me check the website. So I'm gonna send you a link straight away. Just give me a second, okay? What is that? Ah, uh, here we go, Robert. Space Industries, let me find that message for you. Here we go. It's called Data Cash, Life Insurance Policy. And I'm sending it in a chat. And I'm sending it in the chat now. So this is the link. And when you go a bit deeper, you basically... They're not specifically saying that the drug clubs are still in the system. They're talking about more systems. I already discussed that here in the chat. But I still believe... Landing gear up. I still believe that we're gonna find the drug club and once we do it's gonna be a lot of fun because then we're gonna grab the orc players and just gonna run it dry from all the video if you know that all around the Hearthstone if there will be really a drug club it's not just a rumor let's hypothetically say that there is really a drug club somewhere here on one of these modes then it will be much more profitable than running the drugs uh, in a crusader system and the reason for that is that you can sell drugs in the level for 25.10 credits instead of 24 as in Levski. so this is a big difference um, just to give you some quick comparison how much you can make yeah yeah um Doomtown, let me show you. Uh, 
Okay, so you might be able to see the FPS. We are 40, 41 FPS. Let's run the scanning. About 38, 39 FPS. I'm just gonna make it smaller. And it's still because, and I'm streaming from the same computer as I'm using for, for playing a game. So you can, wow, that's beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are, we flew all around the moon and we haven't got any signatures. Just, you know, to give you To give you a quick idea, um, when I'm not streaming, I am able to get about like 60, 65, up to 70 FPS in some areas. So definitely the performance of the game improved a lot. And I do not have like a top end PC. I do have just like a Ryzen 7, if it's the case. Uh, I had 2070 RTX graphic card, which is like the 8 gigabyte graphic card, and uh, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So nothing crazy special. I do not have like you know the top end PC. Yet. I'm still able to stream and play the game in the same time from the same PC. So I would call it improvement in the performance. Wow. Okay, so we are kind of making our way into the daylight. I see already how everything is lightening up and we still didn't get any signatures of any possibility of being close to the drug club at all. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I have to call it a night. I do not think I can pronounce Aberdeen as a moon with any drug club. And uh, to confirm this theory, what I want to do, I am about to fly on Aberdeen to one of these stations and run the scan. And run the scan just to show you or prove. Just to show you and prove that the buildings can have a signatures once you scan them. So we probably couldn't miss it. I also understand that we are flying just in a one line and the planet is three dimensional. So I would probably need to spend more time or more ships in order just to scan the planet thoroughly. And I understand that and accept that. Uh, that's why I would love to say that this statement is not final. There still might be any signatures and I just didn't find it yet. And I believe that I need to spend more time doing it. Question is, as the game at this stage doesn't have any way how you can store the information about the location you are at, how would you uh, like store the location in order to pass it to other players? How would you create a landmark? I do have a couple of ideas. How would I probably do that? But just let me know in the comments below. How would you like... Let's say that I will find the drug lab over here and it will be just in front of me. How would I say that to other people? Hey, guys, you know, it's on Aberdeen. And they'll ask me where. Uh, you know, where the, where the yellow ground is. I don't think it will work. Okay, let's go. Still nothing. I would say that the expression will take up. Absolutely correct. Okay. Doomtown, Doomtown, 
that's exactly that's exactly right. Yeah. And I would just show it to other people. So basically, when you take a look on a star map right now, I do have one location locked, but Doom Don is actually right. You will triangulate like the distance between three different outposts. So then you will know that this outpost and that outpost and that outpost, you are exactly this amount of kilometers away from that because this, the planet is spinning. You know, the space and the universe is just like spinning all around its own axis. And you always need to find the same place, but these spots will be always in the same spot. So if you will find, let's say, OM2, OM3, and some spot, and you will find out that OM2 is what 200 kilometers, OM3 is 300 kilometers away from you, and the spot is uh, two kilometers away, then you always will be able to triangulate these spots any any time. We actually did it. Uh, because you do have a coordinates already on the internet about uh, fallen javelin. There is like a javelin break on a daymar, and this is exactly the way how you can find it. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that the simple way. I'm just gonna use the quantum drive. I'm kind of lazy already to do that the other way. So I'm just gonna miss that plan. 15. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Just spin it. No, 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 not too much. Let's don't get too crazy. Beautiful ship, isn't it? Like this ship, the reason why I love this one is that it's like a multi-purpose ship. I know that at this stage of the game you can kind of use it primarily for running the cargo, but you know in the future you can use it also for a salvage. Uh, you can you will be able to check these bays. You can see the four different bays, and you will be able like to swap them into another thing such as maybe medical bay or engineering or maybe that reclamation part. You do have already. As you can see, these kind of funny guns, which looks like very powerful guns, but they're not. Uh, they are tractor beams. You have a tractor beam operator over there, and here as well, actually in the lower part. Uh, Drenzas, thank you so much for the fall. I highly appreciate it. I actually appreciate everyone watching this channel because, like, it's make me feel that what am I, what I'm doing. Is the right thing and you kind of enjoying the content which is actually the reason why I'm doing that not for me myself you know I can play the game but for you guys or for people who basically just can't play the game for any reasons want to see or want to get into the game but have a questions like I did when I started all right So let's get to the outpost. And this will be the final test how we're gonna figure it out whether it is even possible to find out that there is really some drug lab. If we will really get the signature of that. Quantum drive is now on. Okay. I guess we will end up about like 30 k's away from there, maybe 15. It's not a big moon. Lock. Anyway, if everybody or anybody here on the stream thinking about buying a caterpillar, I wouldn't push it that far because the caterpillar is bugged at this point. And there are a lot of problems with that. I can tell you straight away, plenty. What you can kind of expect. So, for instance, if you're gonna be flying this ship, be prepared that everyone can board the ship. The ship is locked only when you're sitting here in a seat and you click on lock. 
right now no one can open the ship but when i will leave this sea the people will be able to open the ship just like board your ship so be careful about that and because this ship can carry loads for millions of credits you can lose a lot because you know you don't even know that someone is on a ship as it's big you're gonna just sit fly fly out of the air mist zone and someone's just gonna shoot you to your back that's happened many times already so just be ready and prepare i'm highly suggesting if you're gonna be doing the cargo runs and you really have or want to have your hands on this ship uh hire people hire the crew the people love you know to flying actually on the bigger ships so don't be worried that you won't be fighting anyone and maybe that's the way how you can do the cargo a couple of tips uh, you can see a couple of videos I posted before on YouTube or here in a Twitch and uh, I'm hiring people from all around the server in order just to fly around and do some cargo missions or uh, not just the cargo missions but cargo riding so you can watch this and maybe see what I did and why I did it just like follow the same steps that's probably how, we, how we're gonna make a lot of money in the future all right, so we are about seven kilometers, and I'm ooh, kind of feeling I'm gonna smash it somewhere. No, 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 that's not good. That's not good. All right. Oh, wait a second. Something is not right. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, because the scanning working as it were, for some unknown reason, I might be able already to find out this outpost. Or, there is still a chance that we miss it. Because it was a dark. And obviously, I'm not getting any signatures. Alright, the spinning frog. Hey, yo, man, how's it going? If anyone knows about the location or any possible location of the new drug lab please let me know or if you do have a tip wow look at that this this looks like a really big interesting so i'm not getting any signatures even from this station which is in front of me i'm gonna just land in here i don't give a shit The Spanning Frog, thank you so much for follow. Appreciate it, man. Landing gear down. Starboard impact warning. Okay, let's land this bad boy. Get impact warning. Okay. Here we go. Landing complete. Smooth as a butter. Engines offline. I love this shit, bro. Look at that. Like, don't tell me that you you never wanted to be on a ship like that. Just like run around, fly that, you know, land anywhere you want, fly, discover the planet. Don't tell me that you never tried to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the game where you can do that anytime. It's online and we have a way for you how to get into the game for free. So we have a giveaway for February 2019, which is right now. And you still have a couple of days till the end. We, oh, by the way, look at that, I love this mess room. Kind of wish, you know, that I can sit in here and just like get myself a coffee, which will be actually in a game by the end of this year. They want to add this functional thing in.
Alright, so let me know what kind of shit we can buy in here. Just wondering myself. So we can definitely spawn ourselves. That's what I'm calling perfect landing. Ah! Uh, <laughs> the spanning frog. Well, then let's hope it will support VR one time. To be honest, uh, they were actually talking about it on Last Citizen Con, and they are really going to be implementing it in a game. I think there was already a part where you can use that, or you could use that in the past, but it's just not fully developed. And yes, I absolutely agree. Just like look at that and imagine that you, at, at this point, you can do this. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just quickly show it to you. So if I do have the game calibrated, uh, which I obviously do not have. All right, obviously not. It's done. And if I'll take a look on Wobigla, ah, uh, still not working for some reason. Hey, bro, how's going? Ah, uh, guys, I love this game seriously. And you see, you I don't even have a VR, and you can already see me talking. How cool is that, right? And you can just like using one eyebrow, second eyebrow. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? And imagine that you can have uh, communication with any other guy, and uh, you see him normally in the TV. Uh, uh, uh. And you see him in the TV. You see him on the screen. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a face recognition. You can you already have it in the game. So. Imagine that you are in a ship and you're hailing any other player and you're talking to each other and you're saying, hey bro, don't shoot at me, you know, I don't have the shields and I have a lot of cargo. I do have a webcam attached, yes. Alright, we did have another question. Uh, let me just read it. The problem is that they have 100 star system. Seven years later, not even finished. Uh, Genoxer, I don't know if I'm reading your name right. Uh, they promised 100 star systems and actually there was an explanation for what is going on. So in order just to paraphrase what they said in their last video, what they basically did is that they designed the game with in a low budget. They didn't have that much money available for that and they thought that it's going to be kind of small project for let's say 30 million dollars something like that so small team and the game will be within the limits but once they started to gaining more and more money they figured out that they can really fulfill the full vision of the star or the universe they had before and they basically grab everything they created a couple of years ago they threw it in a bin and they started all from the scratch. So at the beginning, you didn't see much progress, which makes sense, and it's kind of annoying for us players, you know, or people who pledged for the game. However, over these years, right now, we kind of benefiting from what they did because now we're gonna have much more versions, much quicker, and with much more information. Uh, with procedure generation of the planets uh, and the cities and everything, with a little bit of touch of any human interference, more assets they're gonna have, faster they will be able to develop the planets. That's the reason why they're starting with the Stanton system. Why they um, have this system at the beginning and they kind of adding features later on because more assets they have, they're basically kind of running everything on this system. And there will be just like a little bit of more things later on, but it's not gonna be too drastic. Then I need to train my poker face. Oh yeah, mate! <laughs> Let's come attach. Wait a second, I'm gonna show you my poker face. I'm, I'm on it right now. So this is me. Bro. How's going? Shields. I don't have any cargo. You see no emotions in there. Can we bring a ship star? What is happening? 
Okay. I kind of feel that there is like a no sales console here. Ah! Did I just set it exactly at the time when I find one? Bro, what you doing here? You have a hole here. So what do we have? Played all the wing commanders and privateers, freelancers, free space, X wings, stair point, etc. This game would be nice win for me. Absolutely agree. I wouldn't say that better, mate. It's once this game is finished, it's just gonna be insane. I'm telling you, it's gonna be insane. Like, honestly, at this point of the time, we're still playing an alpha version, man. And look at the game. Oh, okay, wait a second. Look at this game. Look where we are. We are already on the planet. And somewhere, maybe, if I didn't lose my ship. I still have a like crazy big vessel in here, you know, for like crew of people, and it already exists. And I can already jump in that ship. Look at that. That's crazy, man. And it's still alpha. So, I played like X3 uh, Reunion. Now there is like a game called X4 where they kind of provide you ability to walk on the ships. But man, that's nothing like a Star Citizen. And I can't really wait for Squadron 42, which is supposed to be released actually on the like second quarter of 2019. I did you? Did it. Ellie Dangerous. I never played Ellie Dangerous, to be honest. Honestly, I bought my computer just for the Star Citizen. And uh, I was like playing more the PlayStation and stuff. Guys, wow. Look at that game. Just look at that. Look at the amount of detail. You see? I'm just leaving footprints. All right, uh, how to enter the start starter pack giveaway? Need this. All right, if you want to get your hands actually on this starter pack, you have a couple of days because we're going to be checking and choosing a winner uh, next week. Uh, if you really want to get your hands on it, uh, what you need to do, you just need to follow the channel, which you already did, or subscribe on a YouTube channel, depends where you're watching, and you need to be using the code below. The code is actually that one which Nightbot just announced, or you can say that by uh, typing exclamation mark code, like that. And uh, you will be using the code in order to uh, create your account. You will also get free 5000 UEC, and then I will be able to see you in my referral program. Then I will be picking up one of these players who are gonna who use that code, and I will be announcing the name on 28 on my next stream so if your name will be in there and you will hear your name in there it's just like you know raise your hand and you will get your aurora so you're gonna save yourself about 50 bucks this is the price of the aurora game package and uh, within this weekend i'm gonna be purchasing or basically flying that aurora so you will see what kind of ship is that what kind of ship you're getting and what you can do with that that's pretty much it. If you want to know more information, just let me know in the chat and I will be happy to answer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, but nevertheless, I think we are about the end. We have 10.30 p.m. Tomorrow is Friday. My wife is pregnant and probably already lying in a bed. So if I don't want to get beaten to the death by my own wife, I think I need to finish in the best moment. So let's make it special. 
Gosh, I wish I can breathe on this atmosphere so I can take all that stuff. That's cool. Wow. Love that. Amazing. Uh, spanning frog, one more thing. It's not just about a spaceship. To show you a little bit more about, let's say, exploration. myself an Ursa and if you don't know what the Ursa is it's a land vehicle I do have a thumbbell cyclone as well absolutely amazing vehicle and you can see I had like a 60 FPS now just 33 it just dropped down of course and this is it Let's explore a little bit. And here we go. We have a breathable atmosphere inside. We can we can have a like a dropship, so we can have a couple of people in here. Like a four people. You can put your gun in here. Uh, which I cannot at this point. We have a locker, so if you want to go out to the atmosphere. And let me show you something. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Woohoo! So you can see my ship over there, probably. Pretty cool, isn't it? I can hailing. Let's say I don't have enough power in the guns, so I'm gonna increase the power. All right, I think it's not fair. I just shoot. Okay, and you can. Oh. Okay, it's not working quite well. Obviously. And so you can scroll down. We can overclock things to make them work better. And basically, it's all interactive. It all works. And it's still alpha version of the game. So they're gonna be working on the UI. It's still not finish. I think it's gonna be part. Oh, well, like that. 
This is what you're getting, bro. I just wish I can load my rover inside. Let me just go. Look at that, we have just like a second room in here. I love Ursa. This is just absolutely amazing vehicle. Just let me know please in the comments below or if you're watching the video if you would like to get your hands on one of these as well. <laughs> Answer the call 2016. I might want to become a janitor in your ship. Uh, answer the call. I will be happy to have you as a janitor in my ship. It will be a privilege for me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and I think this is probably about it for today. Because, you know, as I already mentioned before, it's 10.30. And I just like to give you a little bit more than I kind of intended at the beginning. And uh, I'll actually see you very soon. <laughs> Answer the call. Awesome. Ready to clean your shit stains, sir. Um, I'm obliged. I do not know how else to express my unhappiness. From now on, me and my crew, we will be only shitting inside a ship outside the toilet. Dedicated spots for that. Just for you to clean that. And thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is pretty much it. So I would like to repeat one more time. If you do like the game and would like to join the game, uh, probably don't have money or you have any other reasons why not to buy or pledge for the game, we can do that for you because we have a giveaway. Giveaway for February 2019. It's only Aurora package, but you're gonna get a ship. It's Aurora and you also gonna uh, get the game itself. In order to participate in this giveaway, the only thing you need to do is to follow the channel or subscribe on YouTube and create your account using the link below or writing the exclamation mark and code. Yes, the link is right now in the chat. Uh, using these links also give you another 5000 UEC which you can use in game. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna be picking up the winner next week on 28th of February. So. Make sure that you're watching and I hope that you are going to be the one who's going to be winning the ship. Uh, we're probably going to be having a giveaway for the for the month March. So if you are not going to be the winner this month, maybe you're going to have a luck the next. Thank you so much, guys. And the spinning frog, do I need to be online on a giveaway? No, you do not. Uh, because I'm just going to be contacting you probably throughout the game or I'm going to be texting you if you are the winner uh, because I will see you in the referral program so just uh, make sure that you're gonna be checking the messages or the emails because I'm gonna be contacting you through that uh, you can also watch uh, the uh, watch the video later on so it doesn't have to be online uh, I think we will give if for the people who basically can watch the stream uh, the whole weekend you know if you basically don't catch up with you we're probably gonna choose someone else but hopefully if you are the lucky one and you're gonna win the ship yeah just make sure that you're watching <laughs> all right thank you so much guys and i will definitely see you in the next stream the spinning frog hope you're gonna be the lucky one all right guys thank you so much and i will see you in the next stream another citizen out